All right, Nicholas, here's a look at some slalom free ski. All right, good job, man. So much better. You must have eaten your Wheaties over the summer. So much better out there, more confident in your turns. It's a really nice skiing. All right, we got good, good ankle flexion. Got a pole plan or pole touch. We want that pole plan to be, you know, a little bit further forward, right? Kind of behind you right there. That one's better. Still a little bit, get it up towards the ski tip, right? But really nice use of some ankles and knees. One of the things is sometimes you tend to get your feet kind of close together when they come under you in the transition. Therefore, the top of the next turn, feet are kind of close together. Kind of hard sometimes to edge our skis using ankles and knees, and you're going to widen them out. So let's make sure we it's a consistent width throughout, right? Nice width there, rolling them up. I mean, that's really nice. Parallel shafts, roll both up. Some nice upper and lower body separation, level shoulders, pole plant, pole touch. You're not popping up. This is really good skiing. And, You know, and tracks don't lie. You can see nice, clean arcs right there. Little pole touch. Sometimes you get the feet a little close together, as we just talked about, through the transition. So two things. You know, let's really focus on maintaining a consistent width of the feet through the entire turn and transition and particularly the transition don't let them come under you when they come under you don't let them get narrow and secondly make sure we have our nice pull touch at the end of the turn a nice forward pull touch but some great stuff so far this year looking forward to some more of it